Hey everybody, it's January. I'm in my car. This must be a tax update video. <laughs> so, uh, some big announcements this week, I guess. The IRS finally announced this week the opening day for the tax season. On Monday, January 23rd, they will begin accepting uh, tax returns. And uh, you can actually go on now to your tax software and file now if you're ready to and you have all the correct paperwork, TurboTax, H&R Block, TaxLayer. They're all currently accepting tax returns and holding them until the opening day. So if you are ready to file, you certainly can do that now. I would definitely suggest holding off until you are absolutely sure that you have all your ducks in a row and you have all the paperwork you need to properly file your tax return. A lot of you may remember that last year was a bit of a nightmare for many, many, many thousands of people that had their refunds held up because they filed before they got certain W-2s or 1099s. They didn't have all the proper documentation and they misfiled their return before things were ready to go, which caused their refunds to get frozen until the IRS figured out all the proper income and match things up and then you know then release the refunds with an adjusted amount so you want to make sure that you have all the paperwork that you are expecting to have this year before you file your tax return do not file too early or so early that you are going to get flagged for a review or even worse an audit so just a little, little bit of advice my advice to you is just to hold off until you're absolutely sure you have all that paperwork that being said, also remember that even if you do file early, if you fall under the PATH Act, meaning you claim earned income credit or the advanced child tax credit, not the regular child tax credit, the advanced child tax credit, they will be holding off processing your return until after February 15th. They, by law, under the PATH Act, they cannot file any tax returns that fall under additional child tax credit and or earned income credit until after February 15th. So when you file your return, it will get held after the 15th, they will begin processing those returns with those two credits. What that means is the first large batch of returns from the PATH Act people will get processed and they'll start seeing some updates on February 17th. Yeah, February 17th, which is a Friday, those people will start to be able to see updates on their transcripts. If they check their transcripts on that Friday, you'll start seeing a flood of people that were under the PATH Act uh, getting those 846 refund issue codes, which also means that that Saturday there will be updates for where's my refund about deposits. Now, that's not to say that everyone under PATH Act will get that Friday. Some people might get it a day, day sooner. Don't fall under the dailies, those cycle codes that end in 05. But most of the PATH Act people are going to have cycle codes that end in 05, which means those returns are only ever going to get final processing done on the Fridays. That's when you'll see those transcripts. So just because you're a PATH Act doesn't mean that you're going to it doesn't automatically mean that you'll fall under that first Friday update. You might have to wait till the next Friday or the next Friday after that. Sometimes things get resequenced, and you know there's a little bit of a wait for some people as far as the scheduling for my tax videos going forward this tax season i will be posting my random updates uh throughout at least once a week uh as the tax season progresses maybe sometimes twice a week uh, i do intend on doing the refund advance myself again this year through turbo tax so i'll post an update on that video on how that smoothly how smoothly that went what the process was like this year versus previous years so i will do a video on that as well this year I am personally going to wait. I'm waiting on a few more tax forms from some of my income, so I will do that once I get those forms, and I know that I am properly filing my taxes. Um, I will also be going back to doing the live streams this year for the transcript updates, which means on Thursday nights, uh, when the big transcript updates start happening after the PATH Act lifts, I'll start doing uh, live streams for PATH Act people. Uh, every Thursday night going into Friday for those transcript updates and then I probably will do the Friday night into Saturday for the where's my refund updates and of course uh, as questions roll in, in the comments and through the email helpmedane at gmail.com uh, I will make videos in regards to those things too over comments or questions that people have going forward so it's gonna be a busy tax season for us we're all gonna get through it together 
and I hope you stick around. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do uh, like, subscribe to the video. It's going to help. We're a big community here. We want to grow it. I want to grow it. Uh, I want to be able to keep putting out some good content for you guys that you find helpful and useful. And the more people we share it with, the more effort I can put into it because I, at least I know it's making a difference. Please keep supporting the channel. Thank you, everybody. And until next time, I hope you all have a good week.